But I'll tell you what, Rich, I, I don't think you're going to find another guy on the card tonight that is, is more ready uh, than, than Yusuf. Really uh, focused and I'm excited to see what he brings to the cage tonight. Super Sadiq Yusuf! Should be a good one slated for three fives against Sadiq Yusuf. Black tights. Vadim Ogar in the longer black tights and red uh, trim. I want to correct myself too. Ogar comes in with a 7-1 and one yep. record. Not 7-0, 7-1, and, oh, seven and one, but still great matchmaking nonetheless. And a win tonight by one of these fighters respectively maybe, maybe sets him up down the road for a title shot at 145. So I just wanted to make that clarification. Oh, Rich! Wow, Sadiq! Well, this one might be fast and furious. Could be trouble. He's going to have to make a big adjustment here. You cannot blink. We Sheesh. thought it was going to be fighter night. That might be it. Oh, Oker's in trouble. Sadiq oh, bringing out some aimmakers. Oh, my goodness, mercy. Wow, you blink. Unbelievable action. We thought it was going to be the fighter night. Didn't even last 30 seconds. Bang. Wow. Look at that. And you can take a look at Ogre. He's disputing the, the stoppage. I'm going to take another look at it with you, Rich, but I think it was a good stoppage because those were bombs. Yusuf and highly touted prospect, you're darn right. I mean, he was throwing some heat. You cannot blink when you watch CFFC. That's why it is the gold standard. Unbelievable action. One of his teammates there, DJ Jackson, uh, victorious here. One of the, the best in the business as well. Let's take a look here. Now there's the left hand. That dropped him. He holds the oh, right and he right. pumps it. Almost timed it perfectly there. And you see... No, oh, he hangs his head off. The, 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 we're looking this at this as you guys are at home because we want to see the stoppage. What the referee wow. saw there you was, know. if you look there quickly, Ogre's head was back, and he didn't lift it up. And if defenseless, just for a split defenseless second, I, I'll tell you that's a tough, tough spot because you saw those shots doing some damage. All right, it was fast. If he's furious, we'll have the official time of the stoppage. We'll come back right after this. I mean, literally, his head bounced off the mat. You know, Peterson was taking a look at it. He gave him some time. He was still grabbing the leg, but that's almost like a reaction at that point. Uh, I, I would look at it again, but I'm not going to dispute that. He took a lot of punishment. I think it was a good stoppage, Rich. Winner by knockout out of the blue corner, Super Sadiq Yusuf. He said 145 is a dangerous, dangerous division. There's a dangerous fighter right inside the cage with our Paul Felder. I'm here with your winner. Right over here, Sadiq. Sadiq Yusuf, 30 seconds, come in here to CFFC and get another brutal knockout, man. How does that feel? It feels like another day at the gym, man. I grind, I put the work in, that's why I get these results. I'm not, I tell people every time after my fights, it's kind of like a mad feeling because I put the work in. This is supposed to happen. If it didn't happen, y'all see me going crazy in here. You know, that's all I've heard about you, you know, in, in the coming weeks and, and, and even before I had heard about this guy that's just, a highlight reel is what everybody told me about you. And you come in here, you drop them with a right, left, and then you just absolutely finish with pinpoint accuracy on that ground and pound, man. So what's next for you? Man, what's next? You, you know where I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be with y'all. I know right now, I, I, that's the reason why I wanted to fight Vadim. I appreciate him taking the fight. He's 7-1. That's a nice record. I need to keep beating guys like this so the UFC can show me some shine. I think I might need a belt around my waist that'll get me a lot more shine. You know, I know the featherweight title is vacant right now. Well, I can, I can tell you the quickest way to get it is to come in here and get a knockout like that and then say that you want that belt. Is that something you would be interested in? As an undefeated fighter, you come in here, you got highlights. Is that what you want? Yes, sir. Come on. I, I want you to put that good work in for me, man. If I could, if I, hey, there's a UFC coming to Virginia, November the 11th. That's where I'm trying to be at, man. It will be great to make a debut in Virginia, very close to home. And hey, before I go, thank you to everybody that bought a ticket, man. I appreciate y'all. I got a lot of people out here that drove three, three hours, they bought that ticket, and they came to show love. Yeah, you see him, you see him. Finally, man, uh, all my Nigerian brothers, man, we don't all gotta be doctors, man. We could be out here shining, we built for this. Hey, real quick, before you go, let's take one real look quick at that knockout in your handiwork before you go. So, so the first, um, I ate a jab from him, right? So I, I, knew, I knew he was gonna come back in with that same jab. When he threw the original jab, my head stayed center line. So what I, it, what I wanted to land was the overhand. I wanted him to throw that jab again so I could land the overhand. But once I missed with the overhand, I knew for sure he was gonna roll back up and I caught him with that clean hook. 
I, I thought the fight was over earlier, so I got sloppy. But then after that, I put that work in, got the date done, get my check, go home and go chill. Beautiful job, man. Congratulations again on making it. Let's see if we can get you that belt and or not a UFC shop. Congratulations, Yusuf.